The McLaren Technology Center is the headquarters of the McLaren Group and its subsidiaries, located on a 500,000 square meter site in Woking, Surrey, England. The complex consists of two buildings, the original McLaren Technology Center, which acts as the main headquarters for the group, and the newer McLaren Production Center, primarily used for manufacturing McLaren automotive cars. The main building is a large, roughly semicircular, glass-walled building, designed by the architect Norman Foster and his company, Foster & Partners. The building was shortlisted for the 2005 Stirling Prize, which was won by the Scottish Parliament Building. About 1,000 people work at the Technology Centre. It is home to the McLaren Racing Formula One Constructor and McLaren Automotive, the makers of the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren, as well as other companies of the McLaren Group. It was also the main setting of McLaren's cartoon, Tuned. In 2011, the size of the centre was doubled after a second building, the McLaren Production Centre, was built. McLaren are also planning an extension to this building to be used as an applied technology centre, and to house a new wind tunnel for McLaren Racing. <laughs> <laughs> Features The building is accompanied by a series of artificial lakes, one formal lake directly opposite that completes the circle of the building, and a further four ecology lakes. Together they contain about 50,000 cubic meters of water. This water is pumped through a series of heat exchangers to cool the building and to dissipate the heat produced by the wind tunnels. The main working space of the building is split into 18 meters wide sections known as fingers that are separated by 6 meter wide corridors known as streets. Facilities for employees include a 700 seat restaurant, a juice and coffee bar, a swimming pool and a fitness center. An underground visitor and learning center is connected to the main building by a walkway. A 145 meters long, rectangular circuit-shaped wind tunnel is located at one end of the building. Team McLaren uses it for testing and development of aerodynamic parts, as well as testing aerodynamic setups. The tunnel contains 400 tons of steel and the air is propelled by a 4-meter wide fan that rotates at up to 600 revolutions per minute. The Technology Center is intended to consolidate all aspects of the McLaren Group at one site, instead of the 18 separate sites they were at before. Ron Dennis, Chairman, CEO and part owner of the group, is confident that the Technology Center will attract the very best designers and engineers. History Work on the project, originally known as the Paragon Technology Center, started in 1999 and about 4,000 construction workers were involved in what the Financial Times said, was claimed to be the biggest privately funded construction project in Europe. In February 2000, Daimler Chrysler purchased 40% of the McLaren Group and McLaren subsequently announced it would build the Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren at the new facility. Dennis explained one of his rationales for the project in 2000 Put a man in a dark room, he's hot, it smells bad, versus a guy in a cool room, well lit, smells nice. When you throw a decision at those two individuals, who's going to be better equipped to affect good judgment and make a good decision? McLaren employees started using the facility in May 2003. McLaren has not disclosed the project's cost, but BBC News has suggested a figure of GB 300 million pounds. A second facility, the McLaren Production Center has been built opposite the building in 2011. It serves as the production site of McLaren Automotive's road cars, including the MP412C. <laughs> 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 